What makes Alex Pereira's calf kick so special? There's three things we're really going to take a look at. The first, he keeps that supporting leg as straight as possible and keeps the angle of his kicking leg as straight as possible. This is different than your traditional leg kick where you get a big turn of the supporting leg and a wide arc on that kicking leg. Taking a look at Pereira, we've got a very straight supporting leg and a much smaller angle on that kicking leg. Second thing, shoulders stay pretty square, much more square than your traditional tie kick, which really rotates the shoulders to get the extra power. Third thing, he's always going to finish with that foot facing up. This provides some extra insurance just in case he misses. He can still see the opponent because he's not completely turned over. Much easier to recover from this position. So you want to know if you can learn martial arts at home. The answer is yes. Like anything, to be great at it, you have to do your homework. That's why I created Knights MMA during my time at Harvard University. It's made to give you the best study materials possible so you can do the best homework as possible. Use the interactive elements like drop-down menus, and you can hover over things to learn more in depth, forcing you to interact with the material, making you learn on a deeper level. If you want to make sure you're doing things right, you can pass in a video assessment of yourself where an expert martial artist is going to grade you on your form. And if you pass, your character levels up. You get characters in this. I did this to make it fun, you know, make it fun to learn martial arts at home. The more points you get, the more you advance through a character ranking system. And the ultimate in this character ranking system is, of course, the Grand Master Knight. So if you want to start your journey into learning martial arts at home, check out the link in the description of this video.